The other thing I wanted to explain to you guys is the idea of um, facets and demi facets on the vertebral bodies. So rule of ones means that T1, T10, T11, and T12, all of the thoracic vertebra that start with the one, they have one full superior facet. That one full superior facet is going to be for the articulation of the rib of that same segment. So for T1, it's really hard to see on this spine model, but for T1, there is one full superior facet and the first rib attaches there, okay? For T12, one full facet for the 12th rib. For T11, one full facet for the 11th rib. For T10, one full facet for the 10th rib. T1 was a little bit different because remember, it has one full superior facet, but it has one half inferior facet. When we think about which ribs articulate which, with which facets, the superior facet is always going to articulate with the rib of that same segment. So the superior facet of one articulates with one. The superior facet of two articulates with two, and so on. If you have an inferior facet, and we have inferior facets on T2 through T8, the inferior facet, sorry, T1 through T8, the inferior facet articulates with the rib below, okay? So if we look at T1, T1 has a full superior facet to articulate with rib one and a half inferior demi facet that articulates with rib two. T2 has a superior demi facet for rib two and an inferior demi facet for rib three. Okay, so superior facets, whether they're full or demi, articulate with the rib of that same segment. Inferior facets are going to articulate with the rib below. Okay, you're probably gonna have to talk through that a few times because it can be a little bit confusing, but the superior facets always articulate with the rib of that same segment. The inferior demi facets articulate with the rib below, okay? Only T1 through T8 have inferior demi facets. Every now and again, T9 will, but generally speaking, T1 through T8 have demis inferiorly. T2 through T9 have demis superiorly. All of the ones, T1, T10, T11, T12, have full superior costal facets.